Let me go to him. Unroll the sleeve. You should have let me go. You should have let me go to him. No. Without him, I must die. Why did you not let me stay with him? Why? Why did he send me away? Why? Peter. Peter. Why must it end by the end? She works with me. Zara, meet Carl Gladstein. Hello. Welcome to the club. Coach, a new girl for you. Look after her. Come on in. I am a secretary here. A pretty girl like you, if I didn't see you here before. I work late. Every night? Nearly every night. Some time for play is needed. You should come here more often. Now take care. Before you know what you're doing, he'll have you behind the counter pouring cups of tea. Carl told me to look after you. Sarah? Hmm? Peter Piakov. My name is Peter. Peter the painter. He's an artist. He paints pictures, but nobody wants to buy them. So what does that make him? A broke genius. Shall we dance? Yes. Why don't you smile? Why? Why not? Is that an order? It's a request. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> Excuse me, please. I told you not to come here. Peter, I've stolen the car. But I don't know where to hide it. The shed you told me about is locked. Did you look under the door? No, I saw. Well, go now, get out. Peter, I... Get out! I was working in the field when the Cossacks came. I hid in a haystack. I saw them burn the village. They killed my father, my mother, and, and my two little sisters. Then you went to France? Yes. Some of the villagers who escaped took me there. I went to school. I worked. I looked after myself. It was difficult, so I, I came to England. 
On your own? Yes. I have a room of my own. <laughs> it's not so bad. You mean it's not so good? Not how a girl like you should live. Are you really an artist? Yes. <laughs> Mr. Hirsch says that nobody buys your paintings. I'm afraid he's completely right. How do you live? Well, I once painted the portrait of an old lady who sold pickled herrings. And I had the pleasure of eating pickled herrings for the next two weeks. <laughs> no, seriously. No, never seriously. That's the trouble. You've had to take life seriously. It's time you started to enjoy it. You won't talk about yourself. Hmm? That's where I live. I'm morning milk. Good night, Sarah. Good night. There was a boy who thought he was brave, but all that it gave him was an early grave. Yes, <laughs> Leave the boy alone. For life is short and death is long. I said leave the boy alone. Women are so... I can look after myself. You heard them, Alex. He can take care of himself. And you, Alex Vaz, you are too old to pick quarrels. I'm not too old to handle you if I have to. My little friend does not like people who threaten me. You see, she takes care of me. <laughs> Some people around here can't take a joke. Mm -hmm. If you say so. It must be so. Uh, everybody here? Where's Dimitriya? You're late. Only a couple of minutes, Peter. In another instance, those couple of minutes would cost a life. I'm sorry, I... I... All right. At 11 o'clock tomorrow morning, Hans. I wait here, outside the factory with Lapidos. At 11 o'clock, two messengers will come out of the bank. Carl will follow them out and give the signal here. Lapidos? When they reach the gate, we grab the bag. And run down this alleyway here, throw the money over the wall. Yosko will be waiting here and put into a shopping bag. Nina will be waiting here for him and there'll be a couple strolling with the shopping bag. Nobody will notice them. Dimitriev will be waiting here for Hans and Lapidus with the motor car. I drive round so to the other end of and the alley. And pick them up. And remember, they depend on you. I'll be there. Any questions? What do we do with the money? You better take it back to your place till I ask for it. Peter. Couldn't I go instead of the boy? <laughs> you know, your father fixation does you credit, Spars. No. You spent six weeks at the factory getting the information. I'll be all right. Stop fussing over me. I'm nothing to you. No. You are nothing to me. Well, we better get some sleep. Good night, Peter. Good night, Peter. Good night, Peter. Good night, Carl. Good night. Good night, Hans. Don't drink too much, hmm? <laughs> you didn't used to question my orders, Alex? I'm not questioning them now, Peter. It's just that the boy is... The... He's a boy. I was younger than he was when I first joined the movement. Long live the cause. And I don't think my convictions will alter when I get to your age. You ought to know me better than that, Peter. You know what the cause means to me. Well, I hope it means the same to all of us. I didn't know you had given a son to it. Nicholas. He was 18. What did he know about life? 
It only just started to live. He started to live when he died for what he believed in. Thank you, Peter. That's a great comfort. Our company. Ah, I do, boy. What do I say? <laughs> hey, go, yo, boy. Go. My father had a farm. We used to... Get out of it! Yeah? There's been an armed robbery. Where? There? There? Got it. Don't get too close. Keep up with them if you can. Get on to the yard. Give them the details. Tell them we'll have to use guns.
They're over there, sir. Near the wood. Right. Give these out, will you? You take one man and try to head them off if they make for the woods. The rest of you, come with me. Superintendent Blakey from the yard. This is Inspector Mannery. Inspector Withers. Look, they're over there going through the woods. I've sent two men to try and cut them off. I'm going after them this way. We'll come with you. It'll be all right if we reach that wood. I'll never make it. Yes, you will. Go on. Mannering, you come with me. With us, you take that one. Shoot the child. Don't be a fool, man. Drop that gun and come out. Stay where you are. We don't know who they are from Adam. Say, look at this. Look at his back. Whiplash. I seem to remember reading in the paper a while back of some refugees who came from Russia or somewhere to this country. Get away from the floggings and the executions. That's a good idea, John. It fits in with this. Look, all foreign stuff. The jacket's been made in Paris. I think this indicates a trip to France. Hmm? For me. While I'm gone, you can nose around the East End. Thank you. See if you can get a lead on the loot. Must have been passed to someone. Find out who. Hello, Nina. Zara, it's only me. Come in. Peter asked if you would do something for him. Would you keep this basket till he wants it? Yes, of course. It's leaflets. We, we send them back to the homeland. You don't have to explain, Nina. It's just that you mustn't tell anybody about them. Tell Peter that I forget they are here. I tell you, the policeman was looking straight at me. Each time I go out in the street, I... I feel ill. Peter, 
There is a boat leaving tonight. The captain said he'll take me. Peter, I must have money. But there was 800 pounds in the bag. Peter, I'm all for the cause. But this, this shooting, I, I didn't think it would be like well, that. I'll get you some money. But you'll have to wait. But you've got it, the bag. Not here. I see. I'll be at the club. No, don't go to the club. You know the swan opposite? Well, wait there. If you say so. It's all for the best, isn't it, Peter? You do understand. I did my best. I couldn't help what happened with the car. Who's his amendy, sir? Don't you get people in from the club across the road? Them Edens. Sounds as if you don't like them. You should see them up and down the street, sir, jabbing away. Talk, talk, talk. They say there's anarchists over there, sir. And atheists. And vegetarians, sir. Vegetarians. A brandy, please. Here I am. I came right away. You have got it. Peter. It was my fault. The car wouldn't start. You can trust me. You needn't to give me the money. I'll stay. I'll help you. It was my fault. The car. I did my... Is it? Yeah. Peter, it's 
too late. Is it too late? No. I'm just surprised. That's all. Sarah. at the club. A man unidentified is believed to be a foreigner. Could there be any connection between this killing and the recent armed robbery of the chairman's payroll? Peter, we must go to the police. No. What about some coffee? London and District Bank. It's not for me. It's for... This man was murdered. A man dies, Sarah, but an idea grows. We steal because no one will give. We steal so that there will never be any more refugees. So that people like your parents will not be massacred. Any sacrifice is worth that. Sarah. I am not sure anything. <laughs> I was Peter Sarah then. Still Peter. When it comes to women, the great idealist believes in private property. But you know, idealism can be very dull. With me, you can have a good time. You are new here. What's the difference? Sorry. Do you know these parts? A little, yes. I'm looking for a room. Somewhere cheap, quiet. I asked Mr. Hirsch. He's the secretary here. Advance, so I gave them 30 shillings. Is that right? 
Well, considering we'll get something like um, 10,000 pounds, I don't think 30 shillings is a bad investment, do you? You'd better come and see them. Now you move in here. I don't want you to go around to the club anymore, understand? Remember, you're an ordinary attendant. We don't want to attract any attention. Ten thousand <laughs> pounds. Very nice. Where is my equipment? Real professional. Every man should have a profession. What have you got? Except the cause. Did you know that you were followed tonight? How was Paris? Oh, fine. I, uh, I got back last night. The AC told me that you were working underground. It looks as though your hunch was right. And do we know anything about them? Yes, one of them, the older one. Name of Lapidos. Political refugee and member of a gang of anarchists. Anarchists? Yes, they've done some pretty big jobs over there. Officially, they're supposed to be collecting funds for their precious cause. But if you ask me, they're just plain thugs. The gang was broken up last year. Six of them were killed and the rest got away, supposedly to England. Do we know anything about them? No. Who was the man who was murdered the other night? Yes, he's one of the gang, too. I was following two of them. One of them was talking to him in a pub the night he was murdered. Oh. And the other man? I don't know. He was uh, smarter, you know, better dressed than the usual type who hang around the club. Right. Well, keep at it. Oh, and uh, be careful. Don't forget, these men are killers. I said, why are you following me? You're hurting me. I'm waiting. It's not my idea. It's... It, it's Peter's. Take me to him. He's not going to like this. Uh, we'll see about that. All right. All right. The words may seem strange. They come from the heart, and hearts never change. Go east, go west. I'll always be true. Yava, blue, blue, my darling. I love.
never tell anyone to follow me again. Understood. Uh, don't go. Stay. Have a drink. Give me your hat and coat. I hope your room is all right. It'll do. Come over here. I want you to meet someone. Mr. Brodsky. A business name, I take it. Oh, I have several such names myself. What kind of work do you do, Mr. Carter? I travel around, seeing life. What do you do? We collect funds. You might call it charity work for our fellow refugees. Well, I must go. It's, uh, it's getting late. Yes, of course. You will excuse us? Hmm. We shall meet again. I hope so. Have a good time, Mr. Carter, huh? Thank you. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye, Peter. Bye. Bye-bye. No offense, friend. No offense. Tell me, this man Carter, what do you know about him? No more than you do. Second time I've met him. Oh. He could be useful, but it would be unwise to take chances at a time like this. The next operation will be the biggest yet. You're doing fine work, Peter. Our leaders are very pleased with you. In the meantime, I'll make some inquiries about our friend. Until then, you keep a tight hold on him, but at arm's length. Hmm? Good night, Good night, Good night. Good night. Enjoying myself. The party's over. Yes, but not for you and me. I think you had better go. You are drunk. Oh, yes, I've been drinking. But I'm still quite capable. <laughs> but Peter isn't here, is he? <laughs> what do you want? Get out.
I didn't see him leave with the others, so I came back. Thank you. I'm glad that you did. You'll be all right now. Would you like a drink? I think I can find something. No. Next time, lock your door. When the old man closes up, about three hours. Was that the contact? Yes, Alex has gone with him to collect it. I hope that got you. I'm sorry, Mr. Bellows. I have just closed. Please, it won't take a minute. It's my wife's necklace. We're going out tonight, you see. Has he left? Yes, he was locking the door. All right. Mr. Isaac, how much do I owe you? Please, it was nothing. Thank you. Good night. Good night, Mr. Bellows. We've got a call. Oh, have a heart, Sarge. We've only just come in. Well, you're just going out again. Where is it, Sarge? Armstitch. I'll do it. It's on my way home. All right. Oh, thanks, Tommy. I'll do the same for you, buddy. That's all right, mate. Come on, lads. How many are there? Well, I only saw one. A running automatic. Back the size of the kit bag, it must be half a dozen or more. And ammunition. Well, that's enough to go on. You can pick them up? Uh, give me Bishop's Gate Police Station. Yes. You say they're at this place in Cutler Street, huh? Mm, number 11. And we'll have to arm the men. These boys play rough. Oh, uh, this is Superintendent Blakey from the yard. I want a half a dozen men. Arm them. Yes. We're going to investigate a premises in Cutler Street. What? Yes. All right. Three men are already in the area investigating a jeweler's in Houndsditch. Houndsditch? Their backs onto Cutler Street. What are they investigating? Well, the jeweler says that he heard hammering on the wall. There'll be a massacre. What's up? Something wrong around here. Come on, lads. Ah, uh, this will be it. Probably some old geezer mending his boots. Go on, Tommy, give him another look. We're just making some inquiries about it. Hey!
Where's the super? He's inside. Well? The blood trail stops after about 30 yards. I see. He must have been badly wounded. Yes, sir. There was a lot of blood. Mannering. Find out where they've taken him. I want him picked up while he's still able to talk. Yes. Check with the people in the hall and see whether they found those bullets and cartridge cases. Sorry, sir. It was madness bringing him back to his own lodgings. We're moving now. Sarah, you will need to stay with him. You'll go. We'll be all right. When we're ready to leave the country, we'll send for you. If they catch him, he might talk. Nobody will ever know who we are. Come on, Peter. Yes? The whole area is sealed off. Yes. It's all right, it's only near a finding them. Doesn't it? We've got a lead on one of them anyway. Ten years I've been with him, Zara. Ten years. Just so as I can watch him die in a filthy attic. If we could. Hospital? No. They'd only save him for the rope. It's better this way. Who is it? The landlady. Just a minute. Here we are. You don't deny you know the man known as Peter the Painter. I knew him. How long since you last saw him? You were reported being with him four days ago. The Jubilee Street Working Men's Club. I forgot. How did you happen to be at the lodgings of Carl Gardstein? Last night, at 10 o'clock. We called round to see Carl Gardstein. He was in bed, wounded. You didn't call an ambulance? You know that already. Why didn't you? How about opening a window? It's very stuffy in here. You didn't answer my question. What was it? Your friend Nina said she happened to call on Gardstein last night. Did you just happen to call on him? I told you. Nina came to my lodging and fetched me. She asked me to help. Did it not appear odd to you that a man so very ill was not taken to hospital? I told you. I did not know what was wrong with him. Yes, you did, didn't you? Let's start at the beginning again, shall we? We'll never get anything out of this Nina woman. She's far too stubborn. Never makes a slip. What about Zara? That's different. I've told them to concentrate on her. And even after you'd seen the wound, you'd no idea that this man had been shot. When you read the newspapers this morning, did it not strike you? I saw no newspaper. That's right. 
You told me. May I have a drink of water, please? Mr. Tosolsky, wake up. We'd like to check the second part of your statement again. Mistress Jonsky. Mistress Jonsky. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? You may go now. You may go. I'm free. Collect your belongings from the station sergeant. Good morning. Drink that up. You bring no drunken tarts in here again. She's very sick, Mr. Carter. She suffered a severe mental shock. I'm afraid the mind cannot take any more. She should go to hospital. Can you hear me? You've got to go to hospital. Send for me, he said. I must stay here. You won't be able to find me. I must stay here. But you're not well. You need someone to do you. You won't be able to find me. You need every care and attention. Can you manage? Well, I, I think so. I can get a room here. All right, then. We'll let us stay here. I'll get you a prescription. Peter? No. I'm your friend, John Carter. I want my Peter. He'll send for you. He promised, didn't he? Yes.
bloody Christmas we're going to have, matey. It's all right for those that can keep on the move. Some of us don't when we're well off. Christmas, Sarah. Remember? We're going to have a party. We used to have a wonderful time when we were children. When Father Christmas was coming, we used to hang up our stockings and pretend to be asleep. We call him Nikolai Moros. It means Grandfather Frost. We did not hang our stockings. We used to find presents on the windowsill in the morning. And, and Mother would say, Go away. Go away. Go away. Two weeks and absolutely nothing. You realize we are being crucified by the press, don't you? I read the papers too, sir. Then tell me what you're doing about it all. I released the woman, Nina. She's not going to lead you anywhere. I think she is, sir. Uh, not directly, I admit. She's too smart. What's that supposed to mean? I've devised a plan, sir. No, it's a long shot, I admit. Anything's better than just waiting. It all hinges on the fact that they can't escape from the ring that we put around them without outside help. Well? We think we know where this help is coming from. John? Hello, Sarah. Come in, Mama, will you? What are you staring at? your Christmas dinner. I'm sorry, I kept you waiting nine days for it. <laughs> it's better late than never. We'll celebrate New Year as well. Well, that was wonderful. John. Do you know why I get up today? Why I made this dinner? The real reason. No. Why? You'll be cross with me. No, I would. Why? I... I had a strange feeling today. They have not caught Peter. He'll be all right. And suddenly I, I can leave again. I'm glad we have something to celebrate. John. Sarah, I don't want to spoil your evening, but he may get caught. If he does, what's going to happen to you? When that happens, I won't exist anymore. I tell you, John, I may be alive, but I'd be a dead woman. Sarah, why don't you just leave Peter? Sometimes I dream. If you and I had met before. But we did not. Can I help you with this? No. No washing up tonight. It all waits until morning. I'm tired. But I'm almost happy. And I'm going to bed. Good night, John. Good night, Sarah. Thank you for our wonderful dinner. Thank you. For everything. mountain won't come to Mohammed. It didn't seem much point. We're going to make the next move ourselves. We're not going to wait for them any longer. And that girl in there is going to provide the opening gambit. But she's not well. So you told me. But she was well enough to go shopping this afternoon and she's looking her old self again, I understand. The Evening Herald has run us up a dummy issue. Nina. 
Nina. Nina, this is wonderful. Hello, Zara. It's good to see you, Nina. When did they let you go? Oh, um, two days ago. You... You don't look well, Zara. Yes, yes, I'm fine now, seeing you again. I make you some tea. It is good to see you, Nina. Have you heard from Peter? You have no news, I suppose. Nina? Nina, what is it? That was the man who was with Peter at the party? He's more than that. He was at contact with the outside. He was going to arrange their escape. Oh, no! Nina, what can we do? They must be warned. But we don't know where they are. I do. Been in there nearly ten minutes. Mm. Here comes the super. She's still there. Yes, sir. I can't understand it. You're sure it's Trashchansky? Yes, sir. Here she comes now. And who did you leave watching the house? He was brave, but all that it gave him was an alley gray. For women are sore, and wine is strong. 
Got a headache, policeman? Not so brave now, policeman. Joshua! Stop it! Coco Pita. He's coming around. So brave now. What will happen to him? What do you think? Well, it seems I was mistaken about you. You've been mistaken about a lot of things. It's a good idea of yours, printing this dummy newspaper. Fortunately, I saw Brodsky this evening, and he's quite safe. We leave for the continent in the morning. You think you'll get away with it? Why not? There's nothing to stop us. The entire police force would disagree with you. How? Oh. They'll find nothing here. Except you. Mannering's coat, all right. Here's his one card. Where'd you get it, Sergeant? I saw old Daddy wearing it, sir. Thought it looked too smart for him. I didn't nick it, Governor. Honest. Where'd you get it? I didn't pinch nothing, Governor. Swelp me. I didn't say you did. Where did you get it? Well, Governor, I was walking along, see, minding my own business like when I sees his hair coat hanging on the wall. And I says, it's a funny place to hang a coat. Where up. did you get it? Where? Peter. There's a policeman outside. Saw a glimmer of light upstairs, sir. Nothing else. No noise. No, sir. Not a sound. How many men have you got? I've got these and ten more at the end of the street. There's forty more on the way. Right. Try and get the people out. Use back doors where you can. Not more than two men at a time. And for God's sake, keep it quiet. You know, it's all rather a waste of time. I'll leave the door open, just in case. Sarah. Why did you lie to me? Why? It was my job. And all the pretense, helping me, caring for me. That was of your job, too? No, I meant what I said to you. I, I tried to warn you. Warn me? And what will happen to you now? They kill you, you know that? And they'll kill you, too. Not with a bullet. But you've been ill, Sarah, very ill. You know what the doctor said. Do you think you can stand the strain of this endless running away? It's my life. And I want to live this way. Whatever happiness there is for me, it is with Peter. What, Doctor? Is this true? Yes, it is. I'm asking you, Sarah. Is this true? The doctor was exaggerating, Peter. I'll be all right. You'll be the one to kill her. Sarah is free to do as she pleases. No. She can only do as you tell her. Why shouldn't she come with me? Just suppose you do leave the country. You don't get shot and the strain doesn't prove too much for Sarah. What then? What waits for you where you're going to? More crime, more killing, more running? And all the time Sarah is running with you, you by choice. She because she can't help it. Do you think any of us can help it? If a man believes in something, he's a traitor to himself if he betrays that belief. Is that worse than betraying someone who believes in you as Sarah does? I have no intention of discussing my philosophies with you. No, you just intend to murder me. To have you executed, that is the difference. It's key. Come on, have me key. We're not going out to dinner, Dad, so move along. You've been caught. Tell me an old man I was home. Here, what you got that thing for? It's just to make sure you'll behave yourself. Yes, sir. Certainly, sir. One more house, sir, and that's all off. Good work. How about your men? The whole area is sealed off. 
The only problem now is how the hell to get Mannering out. If he's still alive. Don't think I haven't thought of that. Peter, please. Do you have to? Yes. You go first with Alex, and we'll follow. I don't think we will be leaving at all. Alex, go and look at the back. How much ammunition have we got, Oscar? Enough to withstand the siege? That's exactly what we'll have to do. You will give yourselves up. The place is alive with police. They've cleared the street, too. I haven't got a chance. Why not admit it? So we fight. And Sarah? Don't worry about me. Just go out and look at the back, will you? But as far as I'm not sure. Gata, I'm letting you go. If you take Sarah with you. No, Peter. Yes, Sarah. No. I always done what you asked. But not now. Take her away. Sarah. Oh, no, Peter, please don't let me go. Listen, darling. Believe me. It's for the best. It's not the end. You know me better than that. It's just that without you here to worry about, we stand more chance. Now go with him. No. Please. No, Peter, no! Now take it away. For the last time, you... Do as I say. Alex, show them out. We're surrounded, all right. Where are they? You dirty treasure! Take that for the police! like that? You know the law, John. We have to give fair warning first. Alex, go out to the back. What is that policeman doing? Coming to tell her to surrender. Then I will give him an answer. going to be a rough job, sir. Sir, the lads are asking for permission to storm the house. We could take it in ten minutes. And lose more good men? It's not worth it with rats like that. We'll take the chance, sir. We, we've got an account to settle. I understand your feelings, Sergeant, but I've orders from the Home Secretary. We've got the ruffians and can afford to wait. Time's cheaper than lives. Most 
reinforcements coming? Yes, sir. Good. We shall need them. We shall have half of London here in an hour or two. Blakey, they won't get away. You'd think there were 20 of them there. It's those damn newfangled automatic pistols. I'll give them this, though, sir. They're fighting like tigers. man in the top hat? That's the Home Secretary. What's his name? Um, Winston Churchill. She's still on sedation, sir. Yoska! Alex! Listen to me! Keep fighting! If you do as I say, we've got a chance. We start a fire. The smoke and confusion will cover us from the bullets. Well, we get into the next house and maybe escape completely. If we stop firing, they will rush us. We won't. One of us will stay behind and give covering fire. Alex! Always the lucky one. 
All right. I'll give you covering. Don't move. I'm sorry, my friends. But I'm too fond of life to stay behind. You are the ones who believe in dying for causes. All right, you die. Me? I've got a lot more bottles to empty and a lot more women to love. Now go love a woman. Come on. Goodbye, Peter. You go. I'm not running anymore. I'm too old. I've done too much of it. Everyone I loved is dead. You must live. on the way, sir. Well, this is the end of them. Is it? They're still firing. Sit down here. The doctor won't be long. Can you take your jacket off? Yeah. Oh, the flaming beast. Oh, thank your pardon, miss. Mind you, it, it, it won't be long now. The house is on fire. I think they'll all be roasted alive. It'll be all right. No, oh, I don't half hurt, though. Hey, but watch it, will you? Don't come out now, they'd be down to a crisp. There ain't so much shooting now. Huh? Stop talking. Hey! Hold your fire! <laughs>
Move over inside. There's a stretcher coming in. found two bodies, both unidentifiable. I wonder who it was that got away. Mm -hmm. 